worldview introduced do you usually wake up between 3 a.m and 5 a.m this is what it means humans have a unique and powerful connection to sunlight that has involved over thousands of years before the advent of electricity we were bound by daylight limits and our sleep cycles followed that today however electrical and technological stimulation can keep our minds and bodies active long after the sun has set and it can have devastating effect on our health despite this many people fall asleep easily but often wake up at the same time during the night this is incredibly frustrating especially if you can't sleep and feel tired the next day in chinese medicine energy or key move through the body's cycle and organs on 24 hour cycle every two hours key becomes the strongest in particular organ and it functions that's not all body mind and emotion go hand in hand in chinese medicine in other words if there's disharmony in the body it is associated with an emotional state if you wake up at the same time every night it could be because your body is trying to send you a message now let's see what your body is trying to tell you here is a list of organs and emotions associated with different times of the night number one waking up between 9 pm and 11 pm or just after falling asleep this is the time of triple heating or the endocrine system when the body's homeostasis is regulated and enzymes are replenished it's a good idea to get to bed at this time so your body can save energy for the next day if you manage to fall asleep between 9 pm and 11 pm but wake up this means your body is overly stressed and is subconsciously in fight or flight mode it shows what is going on also anxiety and worrying thoughts may grow making you feel threatened or anxious this is also the time when energy is sent to replenish the immune system so if you are feeling unwell you may experience more severe symptoms during this time complete important task before retiring for the night it might be useful to keep a notepad by your bed you can quickly write down anything that comes to your mind rest knowing that you can come up with new ideas and unfinished plans first thing in the morning also it's not a good idea to force your body to eat a large dinner your body needs to focus on reorganizing and regulating anything that might throw it off balance throughout the day it is also beneficial to meditate or adopt a nightly ritual to quiet the mind number two wake up between 11 pm and 1 am you should be asleep by this time to wake up feeling refreshed the gallbladder is most active at this time of the night and it is during this time that people with gallstones and other gallbladder problems experience pain the gallbladder is responsible for breaking down fat in the body so waking up this time each night may indicate that your fat intake needs to change by reducing or concentrating on consuming healthier fats and oils on an emotional level waking up between 11 pm and 1 am can mean harboring feelings of deep bitterness resentment or criticism this means that it helps to spend time during the day thinking about your relationships with others and with yourself this helps release any negativity that may be blocking energy within the system number three wake up between 1 a.m and 3 a.m if you stay awake during this time your liver may be telling you that it cannot use the allotted time to rejuvenate because you are overwhelmed with other tasks liver congestion and toxicity during this time may feel like pain it is important to note that in our society excess energy is common in the liver our face-based crowded environment constant exposure to toxins and pollutants and toxic emotions like anger and stress all target the liver directly muscle space and muscle damage can also indicate an energy imbalance in the liver liver is also involved in regulating bodily processes so conditions with pitchy or irregular symptoms such as pms mood swings 
or irregular bowel habits may indicate liver problems. The liver also supports the eyes and vision, so prolonged eye strain in front of a computer screen definitely weakens the liver. In addition, excessive alcohol consumption, an unbalanced fatty diet, and overuse of prescription medications aggravate liver stagnations, doing good by minimizing the amount of alcohol, fatty foods, sugar, and caffeinated drinks you put into your body. You can also try a detox to help cleanse your liver, help remove toxins that may be interfering with optimal function. On an emotional level, waking up between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. signifies very deep anger, resentment, and frustration. Consider what is bothering you and identify the elements in your life that can be source of negative energy. Try to remove as many of these elements as possible. Number 4. Wake up between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. Awakening at this time of day probably indicates that you should focus your attention on your lungs and more specifically on your breathing. This is the time of night when the lungs are most active. Therefore, disturbed sleep can mean that something is interfering with your ability to breathe deeply and comfortably. This is most likely related to emotional factors and may be having trouble relaxing or accepting. Then there are things in life that are out of your control. The 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. wake up time can also be a result of grief and is often associated with loss. In a way, the key is to take a deep breath, practice acceptance, and free yourself from fear of the uncontrollable. Number 5. Wake up between 5 a.m. and 7 a.m. Early in the morning, your colon experiences maximum energy flow, designed to make emptying the contents as easy as possible. What a great time to wake up and start your day. It's also the best time to exercise, as figures, physical activity helps revitalize your key. Symptoms noticed during this period may indicate an imbalance in the colon, and the need to pay attention to this organ, especially when it comes to digestive problems and constipation or diarrhea. Fluids is one of the key components of a healthy colon, so stay hydrated throughout the day. The most important emotional aspect associated with the colon is the ability to let go or the tendency to cling to a problem, person, or situation, resolving psychological issues often associated with holding or letting go can help restore gut health. Also, consciously trust what you cannot change and focus on what you can realistically do for your happiness and success. Many of us are habitual night owls, especially when we get enough sleep. However, according to the Chinese medicine, it is not only how long you sleep that matters, but what time you sleep. We recommend going to bed by 10.30 p.m. This will allow you to sleep by 11 p.m. 11 p.m. is the time when the gall, bladder, and liver regulate key, process emotions, balance hormones, and start detoxifying the body. In traditional Chinese medicine, 10 p.m. to 3 a.m., the window which correlates with the gall, bladder, and liver is the most important for maintaining good health, especially in the elderly. This idea is supported by modern science. We experience the deepest part of sleep in the first third of the night. This deep sleep is the most restful part of our sleep. During these hours, the stress hormone cortisol decreases and parasympathetic nervous system activity increases. This allows us to fully rest and move away from fight or flight response that dominates our waking hours. The sleep stage is associated with memory and learning. Lack of this type of sleep can not only wake you up tired, but also reduce your ability to function and be alert during the day. Additionally, human growth hormone, which is essential for our bodies to repair daily injuries and stay healthy, is released between 9 p.m. and 7 a.m. During this time, every hour of sleep becomes important. The Chinese medicine body clock provides great insight into your body's message. 
but it's also important to use your intuition to determine if another message is about to be delivered. I would love to know your opinion. Do you regularly awake on the equal time all through the night? If yes, when? How do you get back to sleep? Or are you just awake? Let us recognize with inside the remarks below. If you like this video, please like it and share it with your friends. For more video like this, click the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Be sure to check out our other videos. Thank you for watching.